is that posse my name is will and welcome to another review here on apple and make wolf productions so this was a movie i kind of wanted to see jessup's reaction to and to be honest i think the second time around i i don't think it's really anything uh, that great pokemon the movie secrets of the jungle so this movie actually came out on netflix in 2020 and this is about a young boy named Coco who is found and raised by a wild uh, Zarud, who is a uh, mythical Pokemon. So that sounds does that really sound familiar? You could play jungle movie bingo with this. Yeah, I mean you have the jungle book, you have Tarzan, and towards the end you get a little bit of James Cameron's avatar in there as uh, well. I mean, I'm so bored, so disinterested. Yeah, this movie was like not very interesting. They bring in Ash uh, and uh, no, Pikachu, and they really don't do, contribute much to the movie. I think they need to just get far away from Ash as possible at this point. Are, are you kidding? Ash and uh, Pikachu are what make uh, the franchise interesting. I am so. I love the games. I think the games are fantastic, but the anime and the TV show, I don't. I don't no, I got no, I got it. Pokemon. Everything evolves except for the movies. Yeah, in a series about evolution, and that's what normally gets people excited about uh, Pokemon is the the evolution. Well, part of it actually, I think. Yeah. So really, <laughs> uh, in fairness. Uh, it has some decent voice acting and some solid animation, except when it cuts to uh, some 3D. Oh, I was so tired. I need a nap after this. Yeah, it's it's still kind of early when we are where we are to the pri prior to filming this that review. Well, to be fair, I did I did um I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Okay, understandable. Um. um so yeah, but I feel like you could uh, cut Ash and Pikachu out and uh, the movie would have gone almost exactly the same way. Even Team Rocket. We have Team Rocket and uh, as uh, stated, as I think we've stated this before that they're mostly just there for comedy. It's not even funny anymore. Some of it didn't even make sense to me. Because in the older shows, uh, they used to crack like a bunch of uh, fourth wall jokes that were very cleverly uh, hidden. Even some adult jokes. Mm -hmm. um but yeah this was a pretty underwhelming uh yeah, movie like it didn't capture the charm of what made uh, pokemon special in fact i think there's even one part uh, that's a around the climax uh, that was supposed to be an emotional moment but then it turned to into a what the heck moment yep and some plot points don't even get resolved like some egg from the future Yep. I mean, they do kind of uh, solve it, except it doesn't come happen until, like, the very end of the movie. Even then, all we just see is Celebi. Yep. And I think it's safe to say that uh, the villain is pretty generic and easy to spot. Yeah. Um... And the, the backstory that it uh, that comes with uh, the boy Coco on where he actually came from and what happened to, with his parents, uh, it's a uh, it's uh, not really that surprising, really. Also, big plot hole. In the Pokemon Mythos, there's supposed to be one Celebi, right? Yes, and Celebi is mentioned quite a bit throughout this movie. Okay, so in the movie, I'm, I'm, I gotta spoil this for the movie. Yeah, go ahead. That Celebi was shiny. Yes. Which would mean that in this continuity, Celebi is shiny, not the normal green. No. However, in previous Pokemon movies, we've seen a non-shiny Celebi. That makes two. That is a plot hole. So, for the which begs the question, though, is Celebi a one-of-a-kind Pokemon, or are there more of it? I've always believed that it was, like, only one-of-a-kind for each of the leg legendaries, but... Yeah, kind of like uh, Entei, Suicune, or Raikou. Given or... how those Pokemon are created in the games, yes. Yeah, because in this movie, there's a whole, like, tribe of uh, Zarud. Well, I... To be fair, they've said that Zarud's a mythic Pokemon, which apparently yeah, is uh, even more rare than the legendary. They're pretty unique Pokemon, I think. Yeah, yeah I think the mythic Pokemon are not one of a kind. I, I don't well, know how I, guess, I guess maybe Zarud isn't really a mythical uh, Pokemon, considering in this movie there's a whole tribe of them. 
Well, there's a difference between legendary and mythic. Right, apparently. right. Uh, Mew is classified as mythic. Right. It's like the ones that you can only get through events. Those are the mythic. But Meltan's apparently mythic. Okay. Um, also, in the... I, I just don't understand the whole thing with legendaries and mythic anymore. I mean, we have a Galarian region formed for the three legendary birds. Yep. So are those one of a kind? No longer one of a kind? This has to be sorted out. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like, like we said, this movie doesn't really capture what makes Pokemon special or unique in any way. <gasps> they're, they're just, the anime's just going through the motions now. It, it's not even, Detective Pikachu was a better movie. No, I think that's the best of all the Pokemon movies we've gotten. But the American one. N- yeah, so oh, it's made American. in a Hollywood studio or an actual movie studio. So I, th- I just think the, the first movie. Pokemon movie was fine, I guess. If you're a fan of the Pokemon uh, movies uh, or just Pokemon in general, you'll most likely understand uh, the movies more than anybody else. We, we, we grew up with it pretty well. I... Yeah. Well, I think this uh, certain movie, I think, is going to fade from my memory after a while. Yeah. I still play yeah. the games, and those are still fun. Mm-hmm. No, the games are pretty fun. I haven't really played them in a while, but maybe I'll start playing them again. Legend of Arceus actually ends up being a surprise. Mm-hmm. So, Jessup... I really enjoy that one right now. So, Jessup, should I'm we... Uh, forward to Scarlet and Violet, which are set to come out at the end of this year. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one of the stars I'm going to choose for that one. Well, I guess I'll have to uh, see if I can get my hands on a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> So, just up, should we talk about what we're doing next week? I don't think I'm going to have time. Time to talk about it? Time to die. So, that's just about done it for this review. If you enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe for more content. So, until next time, see you later, Posse.